Let's face it guys, all of us who are meditarians enjoy a good grill. However, today we're going to be talking about a different type of grill. Welcome to Envision Prototypes, I'm Nick. Today we're going to pull out some markers, some scissors, and get into some paper craft to mock up this half of the grill using some pressed paper. Now with pressed paper, you can pick it up at your local hardware store, it comes in a roll, you can put it down on your hardware floors or whatever to protect it. Uh, I think it comes in about a three foot roll, 100 feet long or so. Now if you don't have time to head down to the hardware store, or don't have access to one and need some pressed paper really quick, cereal boxes work really well. Uh, for smaller parts or even for larger parts, you can kind of tape them together and make it work. But in today's case, I have a piece of pressed paper here. We're gonna overlay this and then I'm gonna trace the backside just to get the main opening. Then we'll clamp it, tape it, whatever we need to do to get it stuck to the body. And then we're gonna start illustrating on this pressed paper what I'm planning for the grill. Got some squeeze clamps. I'm just gonna clamp the top, clamp the bottom here, and then stick my hand inside and just outline the inside perimeter. It's gonna be a little bit tricky because You have to get it to conform to the shape without moving around too much. Oop. And that's what I was talking about right there. We're going to do something a little bit different with this grill than what I've typically done for a vehicle of this uh, style. Uh, the last grill took me almost five months to put together. Uh, it was aluminum, hand-shaped, with bars, all that stuff, and it was just a lot of work. And if we did the same for this, well, we would kind of mess up the completion schedule. Okay, that's pretty close. Perhaps I'll leave a little bit of an extra around the edges. We'll see. Now, I need some scissors. Stay, stay, stay. That's not bad. I'm gonna leave a little extra at the front so we can clamp it. I'm getting really close with the, with the completion of the metal on this project. And uh, we're going to roll it outside, and this template will serve as kind of a, an illustrative purpose outside to get a better look at the grill before we actually go making it. Polished aluminum grills are really cool, but they take a lot of work. You're talking hundreds of hours to get everything looking right. The problem with pressed paper has been rolled one way, so it doesn't want to flex too well the other way. Ah, that's looking good there. Okay. Let's clamp this here. Maybe I use some vice grips. The squeeze clamps kind of move around. You can't really create compound curves with paper. But this will give us an idea as to where we're going to be going.
So we have our lower line here. Get the edge there and we'll throw a piece of tape across the top there. If you want to leave it left out, it's not too bad there. Okay. You know what, to get rid of these vice grips, let's throw one across the front. As with anything, the setup stage always takes the longest time. Got a feature there, a feature there. So we need this part to come down like this. It's supposed to be coming outward, but because it's paper, uh, it doesn't want to do that too well. Now, if I can hold this straight edge just right. There we go. Mm, not quite. Okay, so this is gonna be convexed out to match the profile of the hood there as well as the grill area there. And this area is gonna be convexed out as well. I could cut that, but I don't want to. Uh, I wanna keep this as one piece for now. So, that's fine. So, for vehicles like this, you'd normally expect to see kind of a bar grill, a vertical bar grill, and that would look really, really good. But like I mentioned, those take a lot of time to build, but we're kind of on a tight schedule with this build here. And the owner, well, he wants something a little bit different. Rather than run with vertical bars with this grill, we're gonna incorporate a stainless steel woven mesh into the uh, openings for this grill. And then we'll accent it with some, uh, let's see here, there we go. So that's the bottom right. You can see we have the signal light, which would sit here. And then we have a kind of an accent whisker that would break off that area. And this area here under the whisker, we'll incorporate that into a brake duct that'll cool your rotors. So let's get the Sharpie out and start illustrating. I want the feel of a 44 grill and we want the mass of the grill to kind of taper down from a kind of a heavier area here to a more delicate area down below. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Good, mm, not good. Let's thicken it up a little bit at the top. That's better. I don't want the grill to be too massive. You want it to, to have a good feel in the front. I'm just referring to my sketches, looking at the front and being extremely careful of the three foot syndrome. I've mentioned that before in my videos, I think it was the door handle video, that we will have to get back to make sure that this does look right. Uh, at this point here, you, probably, you guys probably have better perspective from your side over there than I do here. Now this whisker will probably be an accent piece kind of whittled, whittled out of aluminum. But for now, just run it in with a Sharpie. Because this area is flat, it's not, it doesn't have a convex shape, it's kind of throwing the eye. So I might have to compensate a little bit with the Sharpie, trying to get it out a little bit further. Oops, let's go here.
So this will have a soft radius in the front here. Let's throw in some mesh. This is probably gonna be stepped in here, I'm not sure yet. Somehow I'm not crazy about that hole there. And that's about the size of a signal light that we'll be using. This mesh will be set inward. There'll be a bit of a reveal created, go in, and then the mesh will bolt from the inside. We'll see about that. Okay, let's get some uh, tape, clean this up a little bit. The green is gonna indicate the sheet metal. I'm going to do some back taping because I want to kind of eliminate the overlapping, the tape that overlaps onto the sheet metal. Hopefully this gives us enough stiction that uh, the grill cardboard doesn't fall off. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna take a while to make out a sheet metal too, but nowhere near as long as if we were to do a billet aluminum or a aluminum grill. It'd be really cool if we could design one in CAD and then send it out for milling. But then it wouldn't be handmade. A sharp burr in there. I've cut myself so many times that uh, I no longer bleed. All the blood drained out, so. Shh, 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 shh. Debating, yeah, let's run with tape for that. Okay? No blood. But we'll do that later. So the beauty of this is we're not building it right away. We'll take a couple days and take a look at it first. Make any adjustments if we need to. Now, as I mentioned, there's going to be a space here, so we might actually take and color that in. Thanks. And we're going to color that with black Sharpie. And a good quarter inch should be, I think, sufficient. I can either run with a different color tape or just keep it green and outline the little whisker. I think it'll have more curvature in it. So we can form that to the grill once, once the grill is 
the main section is done. I know the mesh lines aren't perfect. This is just a quick sketch just to give us an idea of where we're gonna be going. I have a few renderings of different colors. We have a body color version, black version. That decision can be made when we're more or less reaching completion with the bodywork on this car. It's, it's only paint, so you can repaint it relatively quickly, and that's not a problem if we decide to go one way or another. This has to belly outward. It's a bit flat because it's cardboard, and same along, along with this here. It has to come out a bit. You can see it kind of wants to come out, but it just jumps back in. So it oil cans. Okay, let's step back, take a look at that. Just looking at this top line here, and it's a bit too straight. Yeah, right there. Just a slight adjustment, have it come in relatively straight and then dip down. And that looks a lot better. I want everything to kind of come down and taper the front. This center bar tapers, this tapers, and uh, along with the whiskers, as they progress out to the ends, they taper as well. This perimeter here, as you see out of green tape, this is gonna be formed out of 18 gauge. It'll have flanges turned inward to pick up the support inside, as well as both of the fenders and the lower fascia here. We'll have a little reveal around the perimeter, a little step in that the grill will kind of mate up with and get fastened with stainless steel fasteners from behind. Now in regards to the holes in the mesh, a uh, mesh with too small of a hole won't look right, and one with too large of a hole won't look right either. You'll see too much through it. Let me know what you guys think about the shape of this grill. I know some guys might not like it. It's not very traditional, but uh, and I get that. But our client, he didn't really want to see a vertical bar grill. He likes the mesh. This brake duct, I'm not a fan of it after seeing it on the car. In the sketch, it looked good, but after getting it on the car, I think we're going to be getting rid of that. Some of you guys might like that there. So put it down in the comments, let me know. I read everybody's comments and I do reply. If you've ever commented, I do reply to all your comments. This whisker, we're gonna drop it down just a little bit, but I can't do that right now because it'll expose the Sharpie lines underneath. I'm gonna wrap up this episode at this point here and we'll make a decision on the grill when the car is outside. We're in the process of final metal finishing the actual sheet metal on the car and uh, just kind of smoothing things out, making sure all the reflections are right. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And stay tuned for some new projects we have coming up. That Roadster build I talked about earlier, that's uh, actually coming up in the next couple of weeks. We've got a nice little surprise, so stay tuned for that and take care.